Welcome back to virtuallyred.com. My name is Eric Hinderer, and in the last video we did a NSXT three node cluster deployment and configuration. Now we're going to configure an NSXT transport zone, transport nodes, and logical switching. Um, so to do that, we click on our system nodes and then we select our vCenter. And just to go through once again really quick in terms of where we're deploying NSX, we only need to deploy NSX uh, to the compute clusters that house the compute workloads that we want to protect with security policy with things like identity firewall or distributed firewall. Um, so with that being said, you can select the cluster or the hosts individually. We're going to click configure NSX and we're going to click create new transport node profile. So we're going to name our transport node profile. And then down below, we're going to click on Create New Transport Zone. So here we're going to name the transport zone something clever like uh, TZ VLAN Backed, uh, because in this uh, instance for deployment, uh, we're doing a VLAN Backed network. We'll name our NVDS, or the NSX Virtual Distributed Switch. So we have our name, the NVDS name, standard, and then VLAN. So here we're going to see that we have our actual transport zones been selected. We're going to click on the NVDS tab. And we don't have to add an NVDS because we just defined one in our profile. So we're going to select that. Uh, down below, we have to fill in some required uh, fields, the network IO control pro profile. The default will look fine for what we need to do. Uh, there's the uplink node profile. We're going to have to click create a new uplink, profi new uplink profile. We don't have one yet. So we're going to name it, and once again, this is our uplink profile for our compute uh, nodes, transport nodes, and we're going to create adapter teamings for those. So we can use the default uh, teaming. We'll edit the teaming policy to load balance source. We have a choice of failover, load balance source, or load balance map. We'll do load balance source. So we're going to check our actual ESXi hosts and see what NICs are free. So there's our physical NICs. VM NIC 2 and VM NIC 3 are not in use. It's required that they're not in use before you try to configure them as an uplink interface. So here we're going to configure both VM NIC 2 and VM NIC 3 in our active uplinks. Uh, we can put one in standby if we wanted. There's our transport VLAN. And then, of course, the MTU. Uh, it'll be 1600 if you leave it blank. Uh, you can set the MTU to whatever value you have if you're using jumbos and such like that. So a quick review. We have our uplink profile name. We have our teaming. And we'll hit Add. So a few more fields to go through. We have to select LDP. So we're going to select Enabled Packet. And physical mix. So we're going to do physical mic mapping to the uh, virtual mic mapping in the transport node. Uh, so we're mapping VM mic two to VM mic two. We're going to click add p mic, and we're going to map VM mic three to VM mic three. And here we have a choice of migrating the p mix, which we're not going to do yet. So we'll hit add, and we're going to click save. So this will start the deployment of NSX on the hosts in the cluster. Um, so in the background right now, there are virtual installation bundles being uploaded into the hosts, and those installs are being scheduled and then installed. Um, so in a second here, we'll see some status in regards to the installation. OK, there it is. So we can see the NSX installation in progress. There it is. And this is a typical environment. This will take anywhere from about 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the uh, hosts that are in, uh, in use for NSX. So there we see the sta status of success uh, and nodes status up, which means we have nodes. So we have our compute manager there, our vCenter. We have our two transport nodes configured. 
Uh, we see the VLAN backed uh, transport zone they're in. And now we're going to click on Advanced Networking and Security to create a logical switch. So we click on Advanced Networking Security Switching. Um, and then, of course, above Logical Switching, we're going to click Add. Here we're going to name our logical switch. And down below, you see the transport zone's already there. The uplink teaming policy default is fine. And here we put in what VLAN we want this switch to serve. Uh, so we can put in a range, of course, to trunk uh, in, on the switch. Uh, use a full range of 0 to 4094. Or we can set a specific VLAN. So we'll set a VLAN. We'll click Add. Um, and then, of course, the default switching profiles are all fine. So we'll accept all those. I'll look that over once and click Add. So we have created a new logical switch, LS1. And that concludes the creation of NSXT Transport Zone and logical switching. We'll continue in the next video with migration of VMs to the new switch.